What's up, guys and gals? I hope you brought your plasma blasters because we are here, your plasma pistoles, anyways. Inside, Inquisitor. Oh, yes. Uh, just a few defenses. What comprises a few, Inquisitor? Servo turrets, mostly. Set to eliminate orcs? Set to eliminate anything with the misfortune to move within their range. Of course. So anyways, my name is Splattercat. Thank you to... I mean, welcome, not thank you. Thank you for coming and welcome to the next episode of Warhammer 40k Space Marine. And it appears as though our luck has taken a turn for the worst. We picked up the Inquisitor, we had fallen out of a plane, we had done a pretty cool, like, dismount type thing from the plane. We'd used it like a jungle gym, and then landed on the ground in the last episode. And I think really what we're kind of going for here is that now, not happy with making us contend against just orcs, they're gonna make us fight against also our own side. So we want to be careful about any of the defenses that we happen to trigger on our way through this facility. Do you think skull tattoos are popular in the Imperium? I was thinking about that. Sentry guns ahead. Oh god. Get out of the way, Private. I hate you so- like... Mm. I hate you so much. You're making me so upset right now. Every time I try and duck into cover, you are just there, and I want to fill you with plasma. Your orifice, right there, like your rear port. I just want to put plasma, like, right there and just watch you dance. But anyways, whew, now that I've gotten that out of my system, I was definitely feeling a little bit frustrated with our dear friend. And so I think what we'll do in this episode is really just make our way forward, as we have done before. Trying to... Ooh, can I take... Let me have that gun right there. I want that bolter off the top of it. I don't really want to use the Vengeance Launcher because I feel like I'm bad with it. We probably should swap. I don't know. The Thunder Hammer is just so good that it makes me scared that they're going to, like, a thousand knobs are just going to come out of the woodwork the first time I put it down. I guess we'll get rid of it for now since we used it over the entirety of the first episode. First turret's down. Second turret's now down. I can see how the Vengeance Launcher might be useful there. Wait, where's the rocket launcher? Move quickly with these guns everywhere. We need to shut them all down. I can do that from the central security room. Then that is where we are headed. Where's the... You guys said there was a missile launcher. You can't get me excited like this. Whenever you get me all riled up and I'm all ready to go, I'm hot to trot, you got me feeling frisky, and then you just kind of like throw a big old barrel of cold water on me. Like the second I heard rocket launcher and I really, really want one, and now there's not one, and I feel as though that's a little bit deceitful. It's upsetting. Deep, deep down. Deep, deep down in my little tummy bits. Let's click on the door and go back and maybe see if it was back here? Where is it? They said rocket launcher. I heard. It was mentioned. I don't like this. Well, after four or five episodes of having rockets leveled at me, it appears as though I am once again being eluded by the lovely rocket launcher, even though I really desperately want one. I also want, a, like, a heavy bolter. I would be happy if they just gave me a heavy bolter and were like, here. Have fun with this. Do whatever you want with it. Come what may. Apply it how you see fit. There's a lot of glowing things in here. When I see a lot of colors, I start to get nervous. I already mentioned this. Something's about to shoot at me. I hear noises. I know that's a gun right there. You can't fool me. Well, they're shooting kind of... Ah, there... Oh, it was the rocket launcher. Well, that's lame. Now everybody, even the robots have rocket launchers, and I don't. I hate this. You're the worst birthday ever. And the turret that I put so many rounds on already has now just decided to die. I do like how they have a skull on them. That's a pretty nice effect. Definitely a tad more terrifying than a gun with no skull. Oh, there it is. I thought it was over... Over yonder hinterland. God, that thing hurts. Alright, well, let's see what we can do here. Oh, I knocked over my cover. That's bad. I don't even know I could knock over my cover, but I did it. Is that the last one? There's a servo skull over there. Let's have at it. I know I'm going to regret it if I leave it behind. I'm also a little bit low on ammunition, so it'd be super swell. Oh my, that one has rockets. Okay. F 
finally. Well, there's got to be a jump pack around here somewhere. Well, I want that. Give me what I desire. Give me the thing that I want. Maybe we'll go around this way and it'll connect over there. That's what I bet will happen. Lots of explodey bits all along the walls. Always good to see, unless they're going to be next to me this whole time. Oh my, okay. So now they're on rails, which means that the giant robotic Gunzo Doom are a bit more mobile. That worked out pretty nice. That was a good little chemical one-two punch. I mean, chemical and steel work together in order to get that thing done. I feel like I need to like mention both halves of the overall doomed equation. And there's our servo skull. I'm happy again. The orcs have thrown my duties into chaos. I only get distress calls now. The Xenos are here. The Hablocks on fire. And today, Transmechanic Admiral has system to contact every single planet defense outpost. A hundred stations. He just didn't want to do it himself. None of the stations picked up. The logic engine thinks we are escaped Xenos specimens. There is a control panel in the side room. Get me there, and I can shut it down. Is that before or after you walk against the closed door and then clip through it? Because I really... God. He's trapped on the other side of the room. Let's keep an eye out for ammunition. God. Pretty good reflexes on this guy, though, for how much armor he's got on. I will say that. He's quite spry. He's fleet-footed. The black carapace has definitely not slowed him down much. It appears as though the orcs have been operated on in here by this rather large servitor. Servitors are scary as hell, so basically think about it like this. With servitors, let's say you just, like, piss off the wrong person and the Adeptus Mechanicus. Well, guess what you're going to become? They just, like, strap you into one of these mothers. <laughs> they just strap you into one of these mothers right here, and they basically turn you into, a like, a human robot. Essentially like an android, but against your will. And you're like this little slave drone thing that lives to build and just do other tasks of general jackassery. Basically, they force you into a life of doing bitch work. Forever. The exit will open shortly, Captain. However, I'm afraid the servo turrets beyond this room remain prime. Yep, what else could go wrong? A few more bullets there. I have no idea really where I'm going right now. They're going to give me grenades, even though I can't really use them on anything. Unless any orcs decide to show up shortly, but... What is kept in these containers? Specimens needed for my research. Specimens, cages, operating theaters. This place reeks of Xenos filth. That is the business of the Inquisition, Ultramarines. This way, Ultramarines. I like how we all run like little kids with backpacks on. Like, ah, dodgeball day! Dodgeball day! <laughs> like, there are several things in life that are hard, but running with a backpack and not looking foolish is definitely amongst the ones that are hardest to perform. It's really, really difficult to look cool while running with a backpack on. The Kraken Bolter. This modified bolter fires adamantine cord Kraken ammunition that does heavy damage to enemy armor and can pierce cover. This weapon has permanently replaced it, your standard bolt. Ooh. But does it look any cooler? That's really what I care about deep down. Did it get a graphical upgrade? Oh, it shoots bullets that are a bit more crimson. If this is the firing core, Inquisitor, does it discharge through the whole facility? No. Not precisely. The core actually raises to the rooftop of the facility. That is where the rest of the firing array is located. This is 
is one of those weird times where I just really have nothing clever to offer right now. I feel as though we're walking into a death trap. I don't know why it is, but dying outside, I feel much better about dying out there than in one of these nasty little corridors. Dying in here seems as though it really just kind of suck on an aliens level experience. Like, it's just, it, this feels like the kind of place where predators about to pop in and just be like, and like rip our skulls out. I don't enjoy this. There's a gun right there, I think. Ooh, the gun's got a little bit meaner. He's got a bit more bite to him right now. I'm gonna wait for my shields to get back up because there's nothing to execute in here to get my health back, so that means we're left at the behest of our fury ability in order to refill ourselves up. So I'm gonna try not to move too rapidly. Okay, so I've got another tier. Oh, that one moves. Damn it. Stop that. You would think, like, he's from the Inquisition. Does he not have, like, the security codes for this? I really feel as though we have somebody in our party who's overqualified to being. He's got to be at least partially overqualified to being shot at by rocket launchers from his own machinery. Like, really, is this what like, is this what you got a space PhD for, is to get shot at by your own rocket launchers? You are failing me, Inquisitor, and I hate you. Looks like those skulls have cornrows. I don't know. <laughs> Whether it's just me that sees that, but I really feel as though they've been kind of just like jazzing it up right now. Having a normal skull was not enough. We needed a skull with cornrows. <laughs> Inquisitor, install my new cannon. Only if it has cornrows. That's the only way he'll allow it. It's in here. So it looks like we've got a normal corridor right there. I'm going to check this other door too because I always want to make sure that we found everything that we need. Hmm. We're gonna, like, make our best effort to not get shot in the face right now. I would prefer it. A little bit of ammo right there. And I think this crate over here is probably gonna have nades. Oh, no, ammo. Okay. Good. We've also got a servo skull that I'm gonna grab. The orcs broke into the temple. I couldn't hear them. I was plugged into my console. Then someone crashed into me hard from behind. It was transmechanic Adamic. He had a axe on his chest. He'd block the attack meant for me. The orc went berserk. He grabbed for me when he caught my rope. I went free and ran. Oh, saved me. He died. Saving me. Yeah, well, maybe if you'd been paying attention, he wouldn't be dead right now. I mean, I don't want to be a dick or anything. I'm just trying to say that maybe if you were paying attention, you would still have a friend and not a dead friend. I mean, dead friends aren't quite as good unless you're all zombies. If you have a dead friend and you're a zombie, that works out perfectly fine. I don't really feel like there's any, like, logical construct right there that would be blocking us from reaching our ultimate conclusion, but in any... Ow, man! Enough with the rockets already. I mean, seriously. I may look like I've got a hard exterior, but deep inside, I'm sad, I'm squishy, and I really need love as much as anyone else. I feel like these rocket launchers should be firing, like, motorized hugs or something. And the goal then... Would, your health bar would represent, like, how much toughness you have left, and each time you get hit, you lose a little bit of toughness. And then, once that happens, you eventually just turn into, like, a happy marine or something. Oh, I don't like this. This room is far too large and open. This one has the green button, so I'm gonna go and assume that since it's got a green color, I mean... Everything here in the U.S. is like, if it's green, it's good. I don't know, when did they ever make that designation? Like, green things are good, red things are bad. This is what we're going to say for the rest of forever, even though it seems like a fairly arbitrary choice. Like, some people really like the color red, and that would mean something positive to them. Oh, that's a lot of guns. I think I'm going to go with the stalker bolter on this one. There. The command room is beyond those doors. I'm sure it is. Are we free? Are we free and clear? We take care of all our, our cornrow skulls? I think we did. 
I mean, there were a lot of them, and they were coming out of the woodwork, but I think we got them all. So let's step forward carefully. Oh, ammunition. Hi. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ammo Crate. How about you get inside my gun? That'll make him happy. My gun has a date for later with some bullets. And another purity seal. Nice. Supreme Fury unlocked. You now gain... Ooh, okay. Alright, so we just get Fury faster. I mean, I could do my goofy voice, but... All the security measures will be down shortly, Captain. I'm afraid they were the only thing keeping the orcs outside, however. But you will be able to fire the weapon. Indeed. We had better do so quickly. This place will be awash with orcs before long. Of course. Security systems disabled. Authorization recognized. Releasing safeguards. Please proceed to the generator room. Okay. Let's go generate some mayhem. Nothing hidden back there. It appears as though our little orky buddies are back. So we'll do a little damage right- Ooh, they are all- Wow, this Kraken Bolter does a lot better damage. I feel like it fires slower though. I don't know if maybe that's just my perception and not remembering properly how fast my other Bolter was able to let off rounds. Oh, I thought that was- God. That scared me right there for a second. I thought there was a squig running up, like was running up on me. It was definitely a squig in search of hugs. Explodey hugs. And I don't want any of those hugs right now. I mean, in general, I'm not a huggy person. I run into that with my family. Like, there's certain... The ...canister into his cradle inside the power core, Captain. Do we risk exposure again? Only if you drop the canister. Your time carrying my power source is finally at an end. Stand clear. Psychic scourge firing sequence commencing. That Inquisitor's up to no good. Something terrible is going to happen. Warning. Emergency containment right commencing. Damnable thing! What do you need me to do, Inquisitor? need to manually restart the array alignment. Forcibly, if you must. Where? In the firing chamber. Board the lift, Ultramarines. My work began with two simple questions. On that day, my ship had just entered the dimensional limbo of the warp. Most people do not like to think of the warp's true nature. After all, it lets us travel between the stars. But the warp is the realm of chaos. Creatures of absolute evil and absolute power take their strength directly from it. So, I asked my questions. Could I tap into that power? And what could I do with it? Captain, you must hurry! The damned orcs have cut the main conduits to the firing tower! You must reconnect the conduits, Captain, or we're facing an overload that will rip this planet apart. Understood. All right, Davy Jones, calm down. We're trying to get there. We're working on it. Squid faced bastard. Like, seriously, I am. We can't go any faster than the lift is taking us. I mean, you could really try and hurry us, but if you want to help out, get out and push or something. I don't know. Kachoom, says the elevator. Well, of course, why would you show mercy to an orc? Stop shooting back. You are not authorized to shoot back at me. You are authorized to die. So we have pushed the scroll of something, I don't know. Inquisitor. The conduits are reconnected. Now, proceed to the main control panel. Off to the main control panel we go then, because obviously we're taking orders from a main plot derivative character. What is this? It's got a green button. Let's push it. Primary containment fixture 
Push it, it's like, green for acid! And it dumps the entire thing into an acid bath. Yarr! Hey, sunlight! Oh, I remember this level. God. Look at the spire! I've been looking for you, Space Marine! You've got something of mine! Why didn't it work? Damn that Drogon! Never trust the Inquisition! Stand fast, Ultramarines. We can handle a few orcs. Space Marine! Was that supposed to hurt? Forces of chaos. Chaos demons! How is this possible? Ah! Ah -ha! You got new friends now, Spike Parade! Servant did all that I hoped and more. But he would never have succeeded without you, Captain Titus. Thanks to these brave space marines, we have broken through to this reality. The blessed gateway. You seem surprisingly able to resist my touch, Titus of the Ultramarines, and that of the war, which impressed my servant to me. Ah, you think the Inquisitor a traitor, but Drogon has been dead since before you first met. You have been by my puppet of flesh and bone. Ah! Ah! Why are it so easy to kill? <laughs> Oh, 
Well, I suppose that. Emperor, protect us. We need an exit. To the lift. <laughs> oh man, I remember these guys. These guys suck from the playthroughs. So basically, when you play online, when you make it to the final wave defense part, these guys start showing up. The chaos guys are part of the. The chaos guys are part of the bonus round. So if you want me to so like to start with wh who chaos is. Essentially, the world is divided into like two realms of the universe anyways. There's like the material realm and there's the warp. And we use the wormholes through the warp to get from place to place. So essentially, it's kind of a... I guess if you really wanted to describe it that way, it's sort of like an event horizon. Like in order to get from place to place through wormholes, you have to go through hell, essentially. And it usually doesn't work out, but we've got a way of doing it pretty stably. As long as you just don't think about the details very hard. Now, what lives in the warp? All kinds of terrible stuff. I mean, the warp is pretty much the most maddening, crazy place you could ever think of. I think it's a bit of maybe like HP Lovecraft mixed in with a number of other things. I mean, it's hard to describe in one sitting, but in any case... Speak truth. Did we cause a chaos invasion? Of course we did. His Inquisitor puppet manipulated us from the moment we met. And before. The false Inquisitor sent the distress call. I don't think so, Leandros. The man's urgency. His fear. I believe that was the real Drogon, facing certain death. And it found him. But not at the Orc's hands. Somehow the agents of Chaos were already here. Captain! Keep moving! In essence, the forces of chaos are probably one of the most dangerous, I mean, they're pretty popular. In Warhammer 40k, the tabletop game, a lot of people play chaos space marines. And so why are there chaos space marines? Well, a while back, I mean, back in the day, there used to just be the Emperor and like a shit ton of space marines. And then all of a sudden, one of his war masters named Horus, one of his primarchs, decided that he was going to betray the Emperor and be like, you know what, screw you, we want to have awesome horns on our armor, you won't allow us to accessorize, and that upsets me. And so Horus decided to betray the entire Empire, and a bunch of Marines went with him, honestly. Like, a ton of people were on Horus' side. And so Horus, with his new flock of evil space Marines, divided up, and then they went off into the warp, and there was a giant war. And I mean, really, it's outside the breadth of what I can cover in, like, the last two seconds of this episode. But in any case, you should check out the 1D4chan thing on heretics and cultists and essentially in the warp. It's pretty, pretty sweet. So my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here in this exciting episode of Warhammer 40k Space Marine. I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow, where hopefully we will wipe out a few more of these bad guys. I mean, I really think that we're probably drawing to a close here. We have like the ultimate version of all of our abilities, so I figure that's usually a pretty good indicator that we're on our way out. My name is Splattercat. I will see you guys next time. Take out, I'm sorry, take care out there, everybody.